Welcome back guys. Um, <clears throat> ran across something tonight that made me decide to do a video. There was a lady named Juanita and she caught what she thinks may have been a dwarf Bigfoot. Uh, she noticed it climbing down a tree on one of her expeditions and said it climbed with its head down <clears throat> she thought that it looked like a small monkey. Uh, nothing really caught my attention until she described it. She said that it was, you know, approximately 10 inches tall by approximately 1 foot tall. When she said that, I thought about Pecos. Because he sent a photo in of something he caught. It was small in nature. Resembled kind of what she described. Except for she said hers had the ability to cloak. What are y'all's thoughts on Bigfoot cloaking? I've done a lot of reading about it here lately. And <clears throat> I'm not real sure about it right now. But, uh... The figure had no tail. That's what made her believe it wasn't a monkey. Uh, it was totally black. No other colors or markings on it. And she said she watched it for a period of three to four seconds. During the three to four seconds, it cloaked and went out of sight. Uh, they noticed the tree that it had came down of head first. At the top of the tree was another tree that was broken, put up into the top. That went over to a larger tree which may have been a possible bridge that maybe a, uh, you know, a baby Bigfoot could have been using to maneuver the trees. Uh, could have been whatever this thing was, was using it to maneuver from tree to tree. We're not, you know, nobody knows because we haven't caught it, but it's, it's interesting. Uh, the next day she went back out and she found uh, possible footprints from it. The uh, moss was disturbed and kicked up. And uh, they found a footprint, what appeared to be a footprint. Uh, she measured it, and it measured approximately 11 three quarter inches long by approximately, it was, uh, I wrote this down, five inches wide, <clears throat> with the heel sinking approximately three inches deep into the moss and the mud. There was also some trees and uh, logs that had fallen nearby that had a lot of debris tore off of them, like they had been chewed on maybe, climbed on. But, uh, nobody knows about why these things would be cloaking if they're animalistic. Uh, as, you know, as what a lot of people think they are. Some people think that they're uh, paranormal. I'm not sure about that right now. I know of stories personally of people that's had experiences said it snowed all night uh, had a lot of things going around the house you outside no footprints you know I'm not sure about the uh, the paranormal part of it right now but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll maybe go deeper into that if you all want me to go that way or to look at it I'm just looking at facts and one of the facts is the animal moving through the limbs being small, uh, it could create a, uh, it's a optical illusion. It's created whenever something smaller moves through brush or something that causes the twigs to move in a certain way. Uh, there's a, uh, similar cryptid animal that lives in Vietnam. They, uh, called them the forest people. They were actually discovered by the American soldiers from the 101st Airborne Division in the 1970s. Uh, they said the same thing. They seen them moving. They were small. Uh, but they did not mention any kind of cloaking. P.J. Jorgensen, uh, he brought this eyewitness account into a book that he wrote. It's called Strange but the True Stories of the Vietnam War where he spoke about them, and again, none of the cloaking was mentioned in his book. None of the soldiers that he spoke to, eyewitness, mentioned anything about cloaking. So, I'm not sure about the cloaking. I know there's another video out on YouTube. Not, I can't remember the name of it. 
But a guy sitting down, he tells a story about Bigfoot and his family, and he sees it decloak in front of him. Uh, he seems to be pretty upset, crying. Uh, he was ready to leave, very afraid. Uh, I'm going to play the video for y'all, so y'all can get a look at it, of uh, this sighting that she has. You can definitely see something moving in the back. I'll try to help you all find that in the video. It's kind of hard to see at first, but uh, once you do see it, there is something there. I'm going to put the whole link to the whole video at the bottom because she goes back and she shows it like three times in slow-mo. That way you all can catch the whole video and take a look at it for yourselves. But just something I wanted to show with you all <clears throat> because if this thing is cloaking, you know, it's going to be a lot harder to find it in the woods if it's able to do it. I mean, it's going to be like hunting, you know, predator. But uh, if it is able to do that, then that would, you know, either make you think, is this thing military? Which kind of hard to believe because it's back when the Indians were here and technology wasn't that high and they spoke of them, you know. Or, you know, what do you think it is? I'm not sure. Uh, I think that we need to keep studying it. Um, be as honest as we can with each other. That way we can get factual information and try to rule out you know what it can't be and then eventually what will be left is what it has to be appreciate y'all watching y'all have a safe night happy hunting be safe until next time guys you know yeah like a thrust and not a hang you know what yeah. i'm saying because something hard and fast that, that the heck was that